was starting to say, what on earth is going on? 21 good days I've been here crying unto God who used to answer me within two days, within few hours, within spontaneous answering from heaven has been my portion. But this time is being delayed and delayed and delayed. And God telling me, you are beloved. Let her not trouble you from beginning. Satan is already whispering in his ear, oh, God is no more there with you. God is no more answering your prayer. God is no more on your side. Your prayers is not going through to heaven. But why is that? He says, for 21 days, he says, understand the words that I speak unto you and stand upright. For unto thee I am now said, and when he had spoken, he said unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me on verse 12, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day, first day, God wanted to do something for you from the time you started to hope. God was actually hearing your prayer from the day you start to believe. You start to hope for it, start to pray for it, start to reach out for it from that first day. And I want this to sink into the heart of every man and woman here or watching that your prayers, your cry unto God, your midnight supplications, from the first day, God is aware of it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I say blessed be the name of the Lord. From the first day, God is aware of your situation. It's not hidden from him. You already have an answer. But look at what is happening in the spiritual. From the first day thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before God, thy words were hard, and I am come for thy words. From the day you want to understand and find a solution before you can find a solution, you have to understand the problem. And he was trying to bring a solution so that the promise of God that has been made will not be hampered or be drained away or destroyed forever. He said, from that day, God heard. God knows. God was in agreement. But what was going on in the spiritual? But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. Delayed, deferred, hope. For 21 good days in this case. The prince of Persia withstood. Brethren, I want you to know that those things you are hoping to God for to do, those things you are crying out to God to bring to pass, God is aware of it from day one. For his ear not deaf to your cry. He knows it. And at times, God already sent forth deliverance that will come true. But then there is another force that is up to test your faith, to see if you will stand the test of the trial, to see if you will survive it, if you become a testimony to God's glory like Abraham. He said, Abraham believed God. And it was counted unto him for what? Righteousness. 25 full good years of holding unto the word of God. Daniel, 21 days. Now, what would have happened if Daniel gave up on the fifth day? What would have happened if he gave up on the seventh or eighth or the ninth or tenth or eleventh all the way to twentieth day? You understand that would have brought the solution. Wouldn't have come true. Because there was a prince of Persia, an angelic demonic being of such power that said this message is not going to go through. This message is not going to penetrate cross over to Daniel. And for whole 21 days, he said he withstood me. Until God said, mm, 
this angel, the one that's there now, can't get this job done. You have to send the heaven's bulldozer, Michael, to go and move him out of the way so that the answer to your prayer can come. But the fact I want to elaborate on is, what of if Daniel has given up? What of if Daniel has abandoned his stand, gave up his watch, move away from the cause, does not hold unto the end. That is where many of us lose in the battle of hope, expectation, on the things that God has promised us. I want you to know that from the day one, God has had you. That is settled. The day you call on him regarding to anything God has had. But there's always going to be, in most cases, a spiritual challenge to the things you believe God for. That challenge can come through people around you. That challenge can come through the voices of the enemy. That challenge can come through even angels. Prince of kingdoms. Who knowing that your message or the things that you are believing God for if you come through will be a testimony that will promote God's greatness. We come to withstand and fight you. Brethren, it's important that we do not yield. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's important that we hold on and continue to fight. It's important that we do not lose faith on him who has promised. God himself, when he promised, is able to bring it to pass. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The cure, as we close, is Jesus Christ, as always in everything. Make him your portion in that circumstances. If you get to a point in your hope, in your expectation that is being deferred or delayed, and you say, you know what? No matter the outcome, I already have a portion. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord God is my portion. If you know that God, as he says in Lamentation 3.24, we're not going to read it, that God is your portion, then your heart is fixed. It is the fear of losing. It is the fear of the outcome that may not be according to your expectation or hope that makes many to pack up and go. And I can't put up with this stress anymore. I can't put up with that anymore. I can't hold on to it anymore. And so the enemy won. Abraham refused to pack up and go for 25 whole good years after God himself spoke to him, not just by the Bible, it's a face-to-face -face conversation. Daniel, who have expected and seen God in different dimensions, refused to pack up and go. For 21 good days, he stood, fighting, crying, holding on to. And what happened is that finally God had to send another angel, Michael, to come and dislodge the prince of Persia so that the message that has come through from day one can now come to him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Hebrews 10, 39, we're not going to read those again. Say, we are not of those that draw back unto perdition. I don't know what you are going through in your personal life. But whatever it is that you are going through, hold on to God's unchanging hand. We're not going to go into other people who have seen different things that God is able to do and they are holding on to God even in this time. I want you to continue holding on to God and don't give up because God is able. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. I want us to stand on our feet this morning, everybody. <coughs> and I want us to pray to hold on to God's unchanging I personally have things I'm believing God for. And knowing the nature of us being needy children, every one of us have things we're believing God for. There are so many things we need, we hope for. 
and at times is delayed, far more delayed than what we want or desire. I want you to keep holding on to God's unchanging hand. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hold to God unchanging hand. Hold to God unchanging hand. Hold your hope on things and time. Hold to God unchanging When you reach the point, you can say, the Lord is my portion. The things I desire, the things I want, the things I hope for, I believe that God will bring it, but notwithstanding the outcome of those, I have reached the ultimate goal. The Lord is my portion. And you hold and put your faith and hope on things and turn out. And you continue blessing the name of the Lord and holding on to his word. Brethren, I guarantee you, God will break forth for you in Jesus' name. Delay, deferred hope, does not mean that it is denied. Father, we thank you again this morning. I have things I'm hoping, believing you for. And so is most people here, if not all of us. And the enemy at times sent the prince of Persia to hold us from receiving the answers to those prayers. The answer that you have given us from day one of our prayer. Lord, I'm praying for grace for us to hold on and don't give up in Jesus' mighty name. I'm praying for grace for us to hold on and don't quit. Lord, I pray against the spirit of anxiety and depression that is upon the world. So that even in this America where we live in, one in five are going through this. Father, we are children of God. We are sons and daughters of God. Let our portion be different in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the Lord God is our passion. And from him is our expectations fulfilled. Father, I want to thank you for this week we are going to enter or have entered. Let your mercy envelop us, Lord. Let your hand be upon us for good. And is there anybody watching? Who says, ah, but I've tried, I've hold on to, I've hoped, and I haven't seen any return. Lord, speed it up for them in the name of Jesus. Do not allow it to wait any longer. Even as you did it for Daniel, we all are sons of and daughters of God. Send forth Michael to break through on our behalf in Jesus' mighty name. That that prince of Pasha, prince of Phoenix, prince of Glendale, prince of anywhere will be shoved and moved out of the way that the light may penetrate through the darkness to us in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. You are God that never change. Receive all the glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. After the offering, we are going to have a prayer for our brother who uh, need prayer before they travel and also some announcements. 
So let the praise team come and do the offering and then we do the remaining stuff. God bless you in Jesus' name.
They are not going for fun. They lost their mother-in-law and their mom and mother to them. So it's necessity. They cannot avoid it. They need to go and they are going. But the internal God will be your refuge. And underneath you will be his everlasting hand. You will go and you will come back in peace in the name of Jesus. The eyes of the enemy will not even see you or smell you in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus, the efficacy, the power in that blood will be your proof and prevention from all harm in the name of Jesus. The mighty God will watch over you for good in Jesus' mighty name. You and your children and your wife and all that will accompany you for your name, for the name of the Lord to be exalted for your sake, they shall be protected in Jesus' name. Amen. The enemy will not in any way, in any form or manner, affect you. Pastor Peter, if you can also come down and see you before, please let's just surround them with prayer. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus and ask for your mercy upon them. I ask for your mercy upon them, Lord. The eye of the Lord watches over all. Your eyes go through and flow on behalf of them that fear you. And he said, the eyes of the Lord will go to and fro on you. The place you are going to pass, he will go before you there to make all things well in Jesus' name. Are there any that will gather against you, they will fall for your sake in Jesus' name. No evil shall befall you, your wife or your children, anybody in your entourage in the name of Jesus. We rebook the devourer for you in mighty name of Jesus. We annul every plan, every intention of the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. You will go and you all will come back safe and sound in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not have cause to go to emergency or any hospital or any treatment in Jesus' mighty name. The name of the Lord shall be a refuge over you. And the mighty God shall watch over you for good. And turn our God, we want to thank you for your son who lives very far from the ministry here, but he comes in every week to support the work of the Lord. Father, return the favor to him hundredfold in Jesus' name. And go with him, Lord Jehovah God, through every bus, every train, every plane, every motorcycle, wherever he will be, in the house, in the hotel, wherever they will find themselves, let the angel of the Lord watch over them for good in Jesus' name. Father, you have promised by your word. He said the eternal God is your refuge and underneath you is everlasting hand. That is your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Father, no eyes of kidnapper, any eye of evil, one or two, so I'm on rubber, shall come to them in the name of Jesus. We speak this and say, so shall it be. Even in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. Because it has as it has been spoken. So let it come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Your word never returns void, O Lord. Let the angels of the Lord have excel in strength and power. Who give obeisance to the spoken word spoken by you? Let it come to pass. That which has been said. That which has been signed and delivered by reason of the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father of our God. Bless their going up, bless their coming. There have been people coming from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Oh, to say their final goodbyes to Mama. Father, Lord, bring them safely and take them back safely. Let there be no if, and or buts about every and anything they will do. Let the bond of love, the bond of unity in the Holy Ghost bind them together with cause of love Amen. that will not be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be peace within the family. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Every discord. The blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every division. The blood of Jesus. Every naysayer. The in the, the name Jesus. of Jesus. Of Jesus. We seal them up. Amen. We stand them void. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. They are planned in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Are destroyed. Destroy. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because your name is
is a strong tower. Oh, yes. Lord, you'll be a defense to them on their right hand. In the name of Jesus. A shade from the storm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You'll be a pavilion and a protection. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The angels of the Lord will go before you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. According to my word. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That it come to pass. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I thank you. We bless you. We appreciate you. Because you have heard this prayer. Not because we are saying it now. But because 2,000 years ago. You said it is finished. Yes. You have abolished death. Yes. Brought life and immortality to life. Oh, yeah. God. Wherefore in the name of Jesus. From this situation, in the name of Jesus, there will be no if ands or buts about it. In the name of Jesus, it will not be said, "Oh, it's when I went here and this and this." In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father Lord, for the answer. Thank you, Lord, because you are the way maker, Lord. You are able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we can think or imagine. Now we can imagine you have done it. Thank you, Father Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord, in the glorious name Amen. of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Amen. We pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise God. Share the grace. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. All the goodness and mercy shall show us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in your presence forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. God bless you all in Jesus' name.